Podcast. 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 I'm John. Podcast. Hi. You know, it almost sounds like we planned that. <laughs> we don't plan anything, Stephen. You know that. How dare you? Hold on, I gotta check the script to see what's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Angrily points finger at <laughs> Jared. How, how how dare you, Jared? <laughs> okay, cut. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, redo that again. No. God, oh. son of a. <sighs> oh. right, if if you on. say redo that, you know what's going to happen. We play. No, no. It's already happening. You should have known better. But now you've fallen into the trap. <laughs> I'm John. Uh, oh, um. <sighs> testing, don't, testing. Don't you freaking dare. I'm Tom. Oh, thank God. Podcast. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't. I have to turn the page. Son of a. I, uh, I'm Steven. Hi. I'm Jared. I, I thought you didn't say it. Like uh, it, it didn't like uh, like compute didn't register. My brain. I was just waiting. I was waiting for the freaking Hi. intro to go. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm podcast. Hello, yeah. podcast. I am. Dad. Were, were you expecting me to do the crash sound effect for the I'm Tom bit? <laughs> I thought I didn't know what you were gonna do, honestly. Because you said Gosh. don't you dare, so it sounded like you knew what I was going to do. No, I, I see. I thought you were going to mess it up on purpose, but then. You said I'm Tom, and I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah, he did it. He did it. <laughs> Say the line, Tom. Say the line, Tom. <gasps> I'm Tom. There he goes. So, so there. So we did. We did the show um, in in March, and it was in person. And uh, with now, a lot of guests, plenty of guests. So a lot of guests. guests. A lot of uh, like raspberries on the tum tum. Yep. Isn't it just um, one? Well, that's more than we've that, had. That, that's, so. that, yeah, that's that's uh, that's infinite more. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> infinite percent more raspberries yeah, than we've ever had on this well, show. Honestly, I don't know I if it's you infinite more. I think it's one hundred percent more. I feel like it's not. Somehow. Going from zero, to, but going from zero to one is going from nothing to something. That's infinitely more. Have we had more than one raspberry on the? We've tum -tum? never had. We've never had a raspberry in the tum tum during a, po a, a disc only, as far as I can tell. I mean, I can I can call Erica and I, she can I, I she can do that. I completely believe that Tom went in a trance and then just that's it. That was it. <laughs> was or, or Jacob, for that matter, I could call Jacob to come up. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got uh, Secret Agent Jacob hanging out at my house uh, this week, and we've just been chilling. It's been good. Uh, we've just been chilling, giving each other raspberries on the. You know, you right? know, just regular like streamer bro stuff. Just raspberries all the way down. We actually do a little, have a little bit of, of structure to this podcast because we could we could talk about uh, Coliseum, and then we could talk about what we've been up to since structure. Coliseum. We, <laughs> yeah, we did. We did skip April, and that was like. It wasn't like necessarily by design, but I think it was the universe just letting <laughs> letting there be some some breath between the shenanigans yeah. of real life podcasts and not the real intros. life podcasts. Well, the and funny God, thing was and... like it was a different person that caused the delay every week. Yeah. It was it was fun. <laughs> like, and like it one was somebody was out of town, next one was not gonna be able to make it, next one out of town again or or sick or something like that. It was just like it was crazy. So it's like actually perfect that we yeah, just God, the whole God himself off. was like, mm, <laughs> God himself April. came down from the heavens and said, <laughs> Steven, you need to move. I mean that was <laughs> That was the rental company, but I don't think God works there. Well, the, well, the, 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 the God told the, the God, the God told the rental company. <laughs> the oh, capital okay. G, let's go. <laughs> the God. So wait, MC <laughs> told you to move. <laughs> did did uh, he, did he send you the message in, in uh, LGBT, like gold bolt text? God, I hope so. <laughs> I got the message from God on Discord. <laughs> hey, he said, yo, Zelda, Lamau. <laughs> I think you can give nicknames to people on uh, on on Discord, like just like flat out. So in case they change the name, you still know who it is. But just imagine, like you you did that as a joke to MC, and you get a message from about Coliseum, and it's like I'm getting a message from God about my charity work. What's going on? 
Did y'all know that you can change uh, people's names on Twitch for your chat specifically? Really? Yeah, if you click on a name, if you are a either the owner or a mod um, of the channel, you can actually click on their name and then they have a little thingy next to it, a uh, little nickname thingy, like a little pencil, and you can actually um, do that and it will, it, you can change it to whatever you want. Pull the other uh... one. Is that a BTTV thing? You sure it's not? No, no, no. It's not. It's not a full name change. It's uh. It's only on your stream. So it's only on your chat specifically. It, it's not sure a forced name change. You sure it's not a beta thing? Because I don't have that. Really? Like it's it's on the card, right? Yeah, it should be yeah, next to their there, name. There is no pencil there. Bro, do I have a beta thing? You might have a. Beta a thing. Be do you have a Do you have a plugin? No, that's so strange. That wow, is a, that's a pretty like interesting and useful feature though because sometimes yeah you hold know, on let me let have... me show you let me show you all what i have I'll, I'll, I'll toss it to you and you might be able to pop it up on the podcast um don't worry i won't dox myself i promise <laughs> uh there we go um uh, i can't well jared i don't know why you sent the screenshot that also has your social security card on it <laughs> shut you really up gotta stop doing that. yeah there's oh, a little yeah little okay i see that i see that on, on the screenshot you sent um as a mod in John's chat, I do not see that on here. Yeah, I don't wow. even see the birthday thing. What? Really? Or I the, see the, follow the I see the thing. following. I see the following since. I don't see the birthday thing. Yeah. Also, shout outs to Lucas Spoken. Sorry about using your name without <laughs> without permission. Yeah. Um, but no, that's just like that's crazy. I thought I thought everybody had that because like there are some names in my chat that are like omega long and uh they're they're really like you know they have a lot of fun talking in chat but it fills up my uh my chat box and i i just set them to like the first part of their name so i only call them like by a nickname now and um that has helped me out tremendously so yeah hopefully everybody gets that yeah, that's <laughs> neat i could i could see myself using that there's already folks in the community that have long usernames and they're like just call me this I'm like, and, and, so and that'd be perfect because like, cool. then I'd be able to, to switch it up. Because like, I'll put that in my <clears> memory bank. So long. Wow, you don't have it. What? Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Also, Luke has spoken has spoken a lot. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Um, yeah, because you see, you see the following thing. Uh, sorry, listeners. Uh, you see the following thing. You see like the birthday or, or the day that they made their account or whatever. And then you can see like how long they've been following and stuff like that. It's really like that's nuts. I guess that is like a, a new thing that they're rolling out, huh? Uh, well, hopefully, Deep I'll chat, get it. Deep Dragon in chat just said, "Just did a check. It's a BTTV thing." Really? Ah, there you go. I, have, I don't even have. It's not on this computer. Wait a minute. Hold well, on. What what browser are you using? Hold on a minute. It's somehow all right. Uh, Firefox is following me around. Because, or like, it, it's like I installed it on the one over at my other house and it automatically installed it here. Do you have an account? Like, do, do you have an account that you log into on Firefox? No, that's so strange. Hmm. Maybe Erica installed it while I wasn't like on my computer or something. I have no idea. Well, now I know. Thank you for letting me. Thank you, Dee, for letting me know that that was a BTTV thing. I'm going to have to send them a message and be like, yo, freaking thanks for that. I love that. <laughs> Oh, Might thanks for the info, that. Deep. Appreciate that. <clears throat> I had no idea. So well, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to go on that tangent, which I thought that I was... I guess I thought I was special. I <laughs> going, going Sorry back to, to ruin it, Jared, but you're boring like everyone else. <laughs> Going back to uh, going back to Coliseum, I looked at the uh, I'm looking at the uh, the, the upload for uh, the disc only segment, and someone kept count of all the different times we said like I'm something. Oh dear God! Uh, the I'm Tom count, at least for the disc only segment, because I said it a lot more after that was 83. I'm John was 71. I'm Stephen was 58. I'm Jared was 33. I'm Dan was 13. And there's a lot more other ones. <laughs> Dude, okay, so that means that means that the intro was ran during Coliseum more times than you said I'm Tom. And no, that, the crazy thing during, during at least disc during the disc only segment. Yeah, yeah. during disc only. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Because I was about to say, because we like it, it there was a uh a donation incentive to run that sucker at the end of the uh convention. My god, uh conference what what do we call it? Convention? Conference? What is it? <laughs> it's Event? The same. It's Event. a conference. meeting conference. Meet <laughs> a meeting, a meeting, a meeting of, the of the minds. It's yeah. a date, really. Um, oh, there were nine I'm Johns that weren't said by John. <laughs> Only nine. Yep. I'm completionist. <laughs> my, fav my, my favorite was I'm deceased, because <laughs> that was what you said after I gave Jules the raspberry. <laughs> yeah. 
I but, was deceased. Oh my god! <laughs> that was incredible timing on on the the part of the uh the of the tech team, because <laughs> I went in and then it was like like maybe like a half second later that the intro started playing again. Bruh, the tech team was on point the entire event, dude. It was amazing. I'm so glad they were able to include the Tony Hawk Pro Skater special move. Oh yeah. Effects. Yeah, I'm so glad that they added that in. That was so good. Freaking Chaos Cookie was a was a uh, experience at I the still, uh, event. I still gotta play that uh, that Rampage like game. Me too. Uh, for the sake of letting chat know, what was the name of it again? Terror of Hemosaurus. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Chaos Cookie, I've been P ranking uh, levels in Pizza Tower, so I'm still not 100 percent on that. Oh, nice. I've gotten all of level one, some of level two, all the bosses, and war, the f the hardest level in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've been working on that. It's been really fun. Oh, man. It, Forgive uh, me, Father, for I've made pizza. <clears throat> Coliseum was, was a genuinely good time. Yes. It was great. It was the first time that we had the whole group together again. You know, minus some folks. Minus that a couple. Could, yeah. Could unfortunately be there. Um, Got Ligma. It was, it was, <laughs> it was very wonderful. And uh, I got to tell you, it does feel like it was 400 years ago. <laughs> it really does, man. Yeah. Like, like that, that, that's, that's just like a mountaintop experience. You know what I'm saying? Like the, those nights of determining whether we should go to Taco Baco or Wheaties. Bruh, okay. I went to Taco Bell once, and then my stomach was like, "Hey, don't freaking do that again." <laughs> and then you went to Wheaties once, and the same thing happened. It's like, well, I'm gonna have to find an alternate route. No, no, no. I didn't even, I didn't even go to Wheaties the entire time. Like, we we would always like uh, go across the street over to like that. Uh, that they had like a little bistro over there, and then, oh yeah, like, yeah. different Like m m less less bowel upsetting restaurants. Uh, for, for, we, we've mentioned it plenty of times in the podcast, but for those who don't know, Taco Baco and Wheaties are Taco Bell and Wendy's put put through a, I guess, put through, quite, quote unquote, the spubby translator. Tinkle outside the binkle. Tinkle outside the binkle, <laughs> yep. Uh, and Wheaties, old fashioned Hergus Burgess. Dude, uh, so the the mouth sweep thing was one of my favorite things from uh, from Coliseum for real. Like it was just, it was so wholesome. Oh my God. <laughs> I love the, uh, the edit somebody did of that image where it's like the person with their hands in the air, but <laughs> they, they just painted Mal over it. Oh, the Jeb Bush one. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, dude, it was, it was a really good time. Erica had a freaking blast. Um, and she, she's looking forward to the next one. Like God, man. Y'all, y'all were so wonderful too, because like y'all, y'all like, because she never, she never really had the chance to hang out with everybody in the group, right? Um, and everybody was just so nice, and uh, she even told me, I think last night actually, Tom, that you were specifically just very, very wonderful to her. Like, you, you, I can't remember exactly what she said you said to her, but she was just like, Tom was just so nice, and I'm like, Tom is a good bean. So that is that is my default. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you're never a bad bean because that causes gas. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, that's um, that's uh, Mr. Donator. Oh yeah, yeah. Even he's even he is more or less a good bean. He's evil for charity. <laughs> he's he's a what is it called? Um, uh, lawful evil. <laughs> Fool! These are tax write-offs. <laughs> Accurate. Are you cuckoo for cocoa puffs or evil for charity? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the EFC. These frosted flakes make me want to commit crime. <laughs> <laughs> and can donate kids... to my local charity. Oh. <laughs> you see the reason why can you see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? Yeah, it's sugar. <laughs> donate. <laughs> when I eat fruity pebbles, can I you see the combination of this bank vault? <laughs> what? What, 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 what? I want to know what Steven said first. I talked about <laughs> <laughs> when I eat fruity pebbles, I want to help in the soup kitchen. Oh, <laughs> oh from Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Can you see the combination to the safe? <laughs> <laughs> I did I, I've, I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of Hitman. Uh, I can tell. In the uh, in the newest uh, in the new mode that they came out with, uh, you can find these. Uh, basically, like it's it's more or less a. 
what is it? It's kind of it's kind of like a roguelike mode. If you die, you lose like all of certain amounts of equipment. You lose all the equipment you were holding on to, and you lose um, half of your available money uh, that you used to buy more of the equipment. And uh, some of the things there there are other ways to get money in it as, aside from like accomplishing uh, objectives. You could find uh, couriers that are just walking around that you can knock out or kill and just pick up their money, or you could find a safe where you could either find three codes. Uh, hidden in the immediate area to just uh, open the safe or <laughs> the more fun way to go about it is just to plant an explosive device on it and blow the safe open huh. which by the way alerts every guard in the area so you better find a hiding place oh man there was, <laughs> okay. there was, there was one bit uh, that um, uh, oh I can't remember their username they're, they're a source filmmaker animator they did a bunch of TRG stuff but uh, they, uh, they, they, they did a bit that I did where after I alerted pretty much the entirety of one area, I hid in a box, and um, you can move the mouse up and down to open or close the box more. And like, even, no matter how far open you have the box, they can't see you in there. Mm. So what I started doing at that, it was plocks, thank you, chat. Cool. Uh, so what I started doing was I would move the box, like it's first person view from inside the box, but I would move it up and down as though I was puppeting the box and be like, hey, do you know where that dastardly assassin went? Oh, I bet he's in here. Why would you listen to me? There's an assassin inside of me. I'm Barry Box. <laughs> I just, I want you to know, Tom, that anytime I see anything um, Hitman related or if there's something new coming out Hitman related, I'm just so happy for you. Because, like, <laughs> I know you love that freaking game so much. It's it's so good. Uh, it, it, like, it's it's meant to be played over and over again. Like, if you if you play it just, like, and you just play through it like one one time through to get to play the story. You're not getting the full experience. Oh, I'm sure it's, it's like each of the maps are made to be played over and over again. Speaking of puppeting, the Pokemon Center came out with a Quagsire puppet. Get it? Buy it. I bought, I'll buy it for you. Buy two. I bought two of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have two, yeah, I've got two of them. I've got it right now. the The mouth doesn't open nearly as wide as I hoped it would, but it's still the effect is still there. Bro, I was about to be like. It's time. I, 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 I'm going to go buy it for you. <laughs> it's, it's so goofy looking. It has it has these weird blobfish like lips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll send I'll oh. send you a picture. It, it looks really weird. But it, but it's still it's still very like cute and derpy and funny. Uh, puppet. <laughs> Anybody else want to talk about anything while I'm trying to find this? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no. It's more entertaining seeing you squirm and see if you can do it in time while we just stall slightly. But not, <laughs> not enough to be helpful. All right, everybody, everybody say, come on, Tom, hurry up. We're waiting. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, everybody <laughs> hurry up. Dan, hurry up, do you have anything up. to talk about? Hey, there you are. <laughs> I, I just put the full link in the chat. It, it doesn't look it, it doesn't look like he's got nearly as like as blobfish esque lips in these pictures. But in the actual puppet, he does. I, l I love that I love that Dan came in for like a second right when you started talking to get him. I used up his word. No, go ahead, Dan. I clicked the link and it said you have been blocked. <laughs> what? Why? Something yeah, about the, the behavior hell, of the Tom? browser has caught our attention. There are various possible explanations for this. You are browsing and clicking at a speed much faster than expected of a human being. <laughs> Something's preventing JavaScript from working on your computer, or there's a robot in the same network and then it lists my IP as you. Bro, I got the same exact thing. Pull the other one. What? It's just a link to a Pokemon Center website. Bro, what the frick? Nobody, nobody's allowed to buy the Quagsire Plus except for Tom. <laughs> Is my review on there? I put a review on this. Customer reviews. What do you mean there's a robot on the same network as me? What the frick? I got the same thing, too. I had to slide a piece of puzzle, and now, now I'm allowed to look at this picture of Quagsire Puppet. Bro, yeah. I don't even have a puzzle. It's just you have been yeah, there blocked. Is. Have I been buying too many Vaporeon plushies? Like, what's going on? <laughs> We're cutting you off. <laughs> oh, look yeah, at I them. see He's what so you mean cute. by the blobfish lips now that you, like, with the straight on look. Yeah. My review is on there, too. I bet that looks so funny whenever his mouth is open. Just, Bar! <laughs> the, t the title of, the, of my review is, He Scream. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, like that's they put, funny. They put one in with a tiny arm at the bottom just so you can be like, this is what it looks like when you jab your hand up its butt. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it looks so uncomfortable in that picture. 
<laughs> with the head of his butt. I mean, you would too in that in that situation. <laughs> uh, been, yeah, I've been to en enough doctors to know. <laughs> So, so if I click on the Pokemon Center link, uh, it doesn't work. But if I just go to the Pokemon Center website, it works fine. That's so weird. My only complaint is that the mouse should be bigger, but I love him nonetheless. Tom, He's you're great. age 31 to 40. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, it reminds me of that bit from Futurama where they pull a drawing of like a crayon drawing of like a rocket off the wall. It says, Fry, age 25. <laughs> uh, dang, all right. I need to get off Pokemon Center's website or I'm just going to buy stuff. <laughs> or they think you're a robot again. Yeah, and ra accurate. Oh, that Vaporeon bot is back again. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> I say as I'm looking at a Gudra, Mew, uh, Score Bunny, Vaporeon, uh, Cinderace, plushies all over my desk. <laughs> Not easy having oh, I thought, the nerd. I, th I thought you were looking at that just like on the site that you were going to order them no. all. They're already in your cart. No, I have these on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I have a boxed no. copy of Pokemon Blue on my desk, and that is the only Pokemon-related thing I have here. But I have I have a T-Rex hand puppet. I have. <laughs> I've got the Quag. I've got the uh, the Quagsire puppet, and I've got a uh, shiny Quagsire Pokemon card that Emil gave me. I have a little white rabbit plushie that I got at um, uh, Macfest this year. It is so adorable. It's like one of those little sleepers, mm. but uh, it's just super cute, and the the tail is about three times bigger than its head. It's freaking adorable. I love it. We're just talking about the things that are on our desks. Yep. Yeah, what do you got, Steven? Yeah, what do you I got? Only, I only set up my desk yesterday because we moved. <laughs> so the only thing on my desk, aside from all of the things necessary in which to work, is a cup of coffee. Maybe a mm -hmm. moat of dust? A moat? <laughs> no. No dust. <laughs> Not I, a single I just moved. I, it's clean. Fair enough. Let's see. I've got warranty got information on my house. Um, I've got... <laughs> Uh, a message from the United States Postal Service, and I've got an application for a for a homestead exemption. I have a uh, adulting. A, I have a dumpy va Vaporeon mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> it was given to me at uh, at MomoCon, and it's just a picture of or it's it's a Vaporeon, but like you know those booby mouse pads? Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's the Vaporeon's behind. <laughs> Good lord! It is so funny. <laughs> I have a registration to vote card, three pairs of glasses, a, a Super Nintendo mouse and mouse pad, mailbox keys, an N64 controller, a Game Boy clock, and a T-Rex hand. Oh, sorry, that's four pairs of glasses. Never mind. Uh, Damn! Yeah. <laughs> and T-Rex hand puppet. I also got that photo that we had taken at TRG Coliseum 2019. That was a good one. Yeah. I think that one. Where where did I put that? I have that, that framed on my desk. I think I have that framed, but it is in the other room. Oh, I have it on the I have it on the wall in the hallway. There we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I actually really like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a switch on on my desk because that's the only time I even play switches if I'm streaming something with it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Erica has the stream deck downstairs, and that is my gaming system, dude. Oh, my God. That thing is awesome. I say stream deck. Steam deck. Frick! Did it wrong again. You just, uh, she's just down there pushing buttons. <laughs> she's got the 31, like, <laughs> just... Yeah, just... <laughs> oh, my God. It's just a keyboard now. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I, like, I, uh... I, I cannot help myself. I say stream deck every single time I mean to say steam deck. It's so bad. And my and the I chat the knows. Thing. Don't worry. They're, they're, the thank God I'm not alone. I get I get I get bullied for that. <laughs> it's just, it's just I do it the other way around context. though. I'm looking at my stream deck and I'm like, oh, on the Steam Deck. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's always the opposite one because my brain like supersedes itself. It's trying to get it right, and then it just fricks up anyway. It just <laughs> why, why is the brain so silly? Damn you, Valve and Elgato. <laughs> Valve Gato. El Valvo. El, El <laughs> It sounds like a like an off-brand car, <laughs> like, a, like a Volvo, but just, yeah, just bad. <laughs> now that's a car you'd put into H. Velgado sounds like a Dragon Ball Z character, like 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 Vegeta and Elgato. <laughs> I watched uh, I watched the superhero movie, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I have not seen that yet. It's on it's on Prime Video now. Oof. 
Yes, yeah. I'm gonna watch that. It's uh, it's it's pretty good. It didn't. It wasn't as good as the Broly movie, in my opinion. But it's a lot of like, it's a lot of like old school Dragon Ball lore that, I, and I really like that. Nice. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super Broly is just god tier, and mm. and he's the that is the main reason why I main him in Dragon Ball Fighters, because I love to stomp people, dude. Oh my god, he got the stomp, bro. I can I can do a sixteen stomp, stomp combo, stomp. and it makes me sad. <laughs> Super Broly's the best. Favorite Dragon Ball character? Go. Trunks. Vegeta. Vegeta Trunks. and Frieza. So easy. So love, easy. Love Frieza. Vegeta, I like 16. Yeah, Vegeta and oh. Piccolo. I like Tian Shin Han. I like Vegeta. Wow, uh, um, yeah. yeah I've, I have don't think it. Well. He had, I, a really I, good, I, he had a really good redemption arc. I have in a Dragon uh, Ball. I have a good friend from college who loved Tien. Like from Dragon Ball specifically. Also, I say BS on on. Well, uh, question: Is Tien human? Oh, I, is this the strongest human discussion? Yeah. Thing? I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure that that is like the third eye is not like just a who third eye opening thing like from like Buddhism. It's like he's actually like a. Is he like a half? Like a half human? I have no idea. Like the whole thing is, that if, we're, if we're saying like strongest Earthling, then it's going to be one of the androids. But well, like, no, he, he is an Earthling. Like right. he is an Earthling, but... but but if we're saying strongest just Earthling, then it's the androids. Technically, yeah. He is. Well, a I mean, well, he is a human ahead. type Earthling Triclops hybrid, according to the Dragon Ball wiki. Fair enough. Either way, he's uh, hot take. He's stronger than Krillin. Well, I thought the only reason that Krillin's considered the strongest human is because of Destructo Disc. Like, that's literally it. That's the only thing? Really? Well, it's that and the fact that he was in, like, every movie. But yeah, like, Destructo Disc is, is, like, actually the most powerful technique that anyone has. I think that was the point of it. That's why, like, all the big yep. bads, like, always try to avoid it. Yeah. Does he ever hit the, anybody with it? There's, like, so he, he, he the like, anime... trims Nappa's, like, cheek with it. The yeah. Only, the only character that actually, like... Uh, didn't get hit by a de uh, destructo disc with cell. Like it, it actually just dis dissipates whenever it hits cell. Yeah, that <laughs> like that is the only time that that happened. That was filler. Oh, was it filler? Yep. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Bull. I I feel lied to. Oh yeah, he did cut off Frieza's tail with it. Yep. And then I I and then Frieza. like like a hundred episodes later, Frieza stole the technique and cut himself in half. I, I love this. Ephraim says, I don't see TN marrying 18. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, he, he definitely wins that. Like, yeah, 100%. Yep. But like, the, part of my reasoning behind like TN being stronger is that he never stopped training. Uh, well, I mean, I guess, I guess Krillin did stop training after a certain point. Whenever he grew his hair out, he yeah, stopped training. Yeah, did he become training. like a but cop or something? In Super, he's, he's a, cop, a cop, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he, he gets back into the action a little bit during the... Um, tournament of power, yeah. Yeah, during the tournament. But I mean, he, he's kind of overshadowed by, like, I mean, freaking Ultra Instinct Goku and all that craziness that was going on. It doesn't um, help that I guess, like, that, like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Toriyama hates TN, like, as part of it, because <laughs> he was... He, I'm pretty... Wasn't he the first one out in the tournament of power, TN? I think so. I know he. I know he loves Seventeen, cause like Seventeen is great. Yeah, Seventeen's a great character. Um, but like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just happy that they really brought Frieza back in for the Tournament of Power, or like yep. the 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 actual like Universal Tourn Tournament of Power, because like just him and Goku going back and forth, him getting flustered by by how strong Goku actually is, like it just makes me makes me so happy. And them actually working together at the end is just like, what? Also, uh, okay, what is y'all's opinion on uh, Jiren? As a character, just overall. Y'all like him, or is he just like the final wall? I'm, I, is that I'm, the, the bald alien dude in like the muscle yeah. suit? Yeah. Yep. Not, like, not anywhere near as exciting as Frieza or sell or so many of the other that's he just, yeah he just stands there and is like i have i have no character i have no personality and by the time he's talking and has an opportunity 
like the show is ending so like yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't really get a chance to know but my childhood was really sad okay but we're like like 75 episodes into the tournament and i just don't care anymore here's the yeah. thing too he's not a bad guy that's the thing. no exactly that's sure. the, that's the yeah. problem so like you have no mm -hmm. investment in him because it's just like okay well you're probably gonna be this big bad guy but you're only big bad because of circumstance yeah, yeah. he's fighting to save his universe so like it's it's really hard because they painted him as the bad guy because you want goku and even frieza and them to win because they're our universe you know so it's like it, that's that's the one thing about tournament of power that was really cool but also really like ooh, you know <laughs> hard to follow a little bit because they're all fighting for the same thing to survive they spend way too much time on rebrian i actually don't know who that is i haven't seen all of super yet but yeah let me see oh, that was in the that was in the tournament of power yeah i haven't seen every episode though okay so yeah but yeah, I, I, man, Super is fun though. Super is just good fun for me because it, 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 it really just um, builds on the hey, yo, I really like uh, the idea of just the power, the power escalation throughout the entire thing. Um, some, some people might uh, be turned off by that, but I'm just like, bro, wh what are we gonna see next? Like, what's next? You know, give me, give me something else. Give me something. Give me more. Give me more. Because like, I enjoyed whenever. Uh, he became Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Like, that was, like, freaking incredible for me because I've always wanted a Super Saiyan with blue hair. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> favorite color, fan art and whatnot. But, like, yeah, the whole Ultra Instinct thing was really cool for me. I, I love that. Hate him in freaking Fighter Z, though. I hate that character <laughs> in Fighter Z. <laughs> felt like the power scaling in Super is, like, different compared to how it was at like the end of Dragon Ball Z and like even even GT to like a uh, to an extent yeah. because like nothing's going to beat how uh effortless, effortlessly uh Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just beat down Omega Shinron bro that was that was kind of cathartic for me honestly cuz i was I, I was uh really fatigued by the end of that with all the different like dragons and whatnot um so just to see him destroy him basically was really fun for me half the dragons felt like comic relief yes uh, that's the problem that i had with it um like the only ones that were actually intimidating were nova and ice yeah and then omega um the other ones were kind of like puzzles really it was like it was like they were trying to solve puzzles um throughout that whole thing which wasn't that bad but uh I've never been the biggest fan of GT to begin with. I do yeah. like Super Baby though. Super Baby's freaking lit. I, I yeah. enjoy that character. It's it's a it's a subpar show with good moments. Good moments yeah. and good design choices. I will say that Kefla is one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball history. Like she's just fun. Just straight up unadulterated power and it's wonderful to watch. Just unleashing. Yep. It's basically Caulifla's personality with Kefla's power. Yep. Oh man, that. Um, or, and, I'm sorry, I, Kale's power. Yeah, and dude, the, the the ending shot of that that fight was just oh one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm a massive, as y'all can possibly tell, I'm a massive uh, fan of Dragon Ball. So, God, to watch just it's to fun. get to watch that, like whenever it was released, I was just like, oh. <laughs> Let's move over to American Dragon Ball, DC Comics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. Um, see, I don't really have too much to talk about that because <laughs> I don't really Batman, read too much. Batman, 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 Superman, Batman, Batman, Batman Wonder Flash. Woman, Flash. Batman, 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 Flash. No, I like. Yo um, they did a one of my favorite DC moments, like in general, is the Justice League Unlimited episode where Lex Luthor and the Flash switch brains. Oh yeah, it's, it's such a good moment because like because uh, they don't do that trope, uh, they don't do the trope of voices attached to soul, so it's Clancy Brown as Lex Luthor pretending to be the Flash, and it's so good. Yep. Uh, aren't you gonna wash your hands? No, cause I'm evil. <laughs> then there's a bit where uh, Lex and Flash's body escapes into like one of the bathrooms. And he goes, you're, "Lex, you're having a tough day." Well, at the very least, I could find out the Flash's secret identity. Pulls the mask off, smirks. Smirk is gone. 
I have no idea who this is. Yeah. <laughs> That that is one of my favorite uh, Justice League moments. Just overall, it's such a good episode. Um, is the uh, is the episode where Superman beats down freaking uh, Dark Side? Dark Side is that in yeah. Ultimate? That's, that's it. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's the or Unlimited. That's the, it's like the one of the last finale. episodes, I think. Yeah. Yep, okay. That is the series finale. Yeah. Nice. And no, it's yeah, not the series I... finale because that's the Batman Beyond ones, the actual finale. No, that was uh, the Batman Beyond one was the end of season two. That was supposed to be the series finale, but they got renewed for another season. Ah, gotcha. That explains the confusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just watching Superman finally get to just unleash him. Unload. Hell. Oh, oh my yeah. God, yeah. Just destroy him for a minute. One... Yeah, the cardboard speech was so good. But you can it's take like it, living can't you, world. big guy? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> So good. <laughs> See, they they got Superman right in that show. They really did. Really did. Like, they, like, listen, that the, that Bruce Tim run of all the all those DC properties just did so much right. Mm -hmm. They made they made a conspiracy theorist one of the most likable characters in the show. You know the question? Yeah, I love the question. <laughs> He's so fun, dude. He's just so freaking fun to watch. It's, it's like, like it, it's like they basically just took Superman but took his face off. <laughs> that's like that's the essentially thing. what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the question is essentially a more paranoid Batman. Mm-hmm. And that's just without the money. considering. Yeah. Stephen, who's your favorite DC superhero? Um, I love uh, Sarah's Genesis. Oh, I love Sarah's. I love Neon Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> so did so did Robin Williams. I mean, I don't do the 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 comics. Like I saw Spider Man in two thousand two. Yep, that was that would be Spider Man two. <laughs> yeah, but no, like you that know, after one. that, really? Did they delay the release of it because of the uh, because of the whole nine eleven thing? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I, June 30th, I 2004 for Spider-Man 2. Wow. See, I know that because the first movie I had on DVD in high school and the second movie I saw in theaters in Alberta, so I'd already moved. I love that you went to Marvel instead of DC, Stephen. That just makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I, sorry. I don't know the difference between... <laughs> I mean, he did say comic books, so he was he was pretty upfront. You know, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know... I don't know anything about that that world. Um, I have probably read a comic, maybe I don't know. Well, if it saves I'm you sure. from any confusion, Stephen, they did do. There was a series of comics that combine. There are a few series of comics actually that combine DC and Marvel. Uh, the one I'm thinking of is called Amalgam Comics, where they combine the characters into one. So uh, Bruce Wayne and Nick Fury are one character. Uh, Batman and Wolverine are one character. Superman and Captain America are one character. I have never heard about this. Yeah. Hmm. It's super neat. What, what's I'm, pr funny? I'm, I'm pretty sure either company doesn't want you talking about it because they don't <laughs> want to give advertising to their competitors, but still. One um, funny thing about me with comics is, like, I haven't actually read, like, the comics, um, like, physically, but uh, I I went on a massive binge for, like, two months. There, there's a couple what of people. culture comics? I think so, yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of their stuff too. Yeah, they just they go through the entire story arcs of comics, and I'm just like, God, I love this so much, but like I don't want to go buy them <laughs> yeah, or like or same. like get get a uh, you know a PDF of them or whatever the frick because you know I do want to support, but I don't know where to find them. Uh, I don't really have any comic shops in my hometown, but Amazon. Yeah, right? like like well, you know, yeah, you're right. But uh, just I also really like audiobooks, so it, it really works out perfectly for me um them going through it yeah over the last yeah, few months been... i got back into comic books so i've been reading the idw ninja turtles run oh yeah. nice but they do nice. they do hardcovers though so i'm like a hardcover four or five right now and they're just they're just a fun read oh mm -hmm. yeah you were talking about that at a uh, coliseum right yeah because i i had brought one of the books with me they're like 400 plus page uh hardcovers and i was like well this will get me through like both flights and maybe like on the way back and then i had finished it before the first flight ended I was like, oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, dang it. I know that feel, dude. My God. I go through books hardcore on planes, man. I'm just flipping. I like uh, I like Captain... Well, he's called Shazam now because copyright, but 
previously mm. Captain Marvel. And no, not starring Sinbad, Steven. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that was my first thought, actually. I like the I like the idea of him being like this all powerful being and then transforming back into like just the most mild mannered thing he could be, a child. There are some like comics that actually play that up pretty good. I think wasn't one of the All Star Supermans does like him and Shazam. Like he's there's, like he, there's been he, a few. Yeah, like there's there's one that goes around where like he's like chasing him down and like chewing him out, and then he realizes that he's a kid and he's just like, "Who did oh. this to you?" And then, yeah, then he goes to see like the yeah. Oh, I love that. He goes to see like the guy who gave Billy Batson his powers, and is just like, "Why would you do this to a kid?" And, yeah. uh, and, and uh, at that point, um, it was like uh, because uh, someone found out that Billy Batson was Shazam, and then uh, tried to hurt one of his friends. Yeah, tried to assassinate him, and and one of his friends ended up getting hurt. Hmm. It's a really, really good uh, thing. Young Justice did it really well, too, because there was one episode where the world was divided between adults and children, and only Shazam was able to travel between them. Hmm. So, like, the only the only main things of Shazam that I know about are, uh, well, the movie. I saw the movie, the first one, and um, Injustice. Like, Injustice and Injustice 2 the storylines in those games are fantastic. Like I, I love them. <laughs> I have That's to. Fan, I fantastic. have to bring this up, audio listeners. Th this image alone is worth watching the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Was it at with Lo uh, with Lovacy? Yeah. Uh, it made a a thing called the Desk Only Podcast based on the stuff that we had in our desk. John's T Rex puppet, my Quagsire puppet, Jared's White Rabbit puppet, and Steven's coffee mug. <laughs> it's all the mug. We need we need Poggy. That's what we need. Uh, but it's just the stuff we had on our desk. He doesn't, he doesn't have Poggy on his desk. You know, it would Fair. be it would be wild if I had Poggy on my desk. <laughs> that would be a that would be a, a, a crazy thing. To be on the desk. You just turn around and it's like Poggy's just there. <laughs> oh, I mean, scary music plays. That's what I have oh, with Michelangelo, oh. so I could see the same thing happening to Steve. Well, except Poggy is upright as though there's a hand in it, but Mal is ah. downstairs or something. <laughs> see, that's what you you get like a microphone stand and you slide Poggy onto that. And then you have see, that, like, the transportal one. You can do it even better reason. because if you do it like with a mic stand that's got like a green screen effect to it, like and you record it, you can actually just make a floating pongy that you carry around with you. <laughs> I was gonna say the real reason we had to move was because the last place was haunted. <laughs> By the haunt, haunted with sock poggy. puppets. Yeah. <laughs> so we talked about Coliseum. And we talked about um <laughs> comics. The things that have happened in April. I want to talk about the missing disc only. Oh yeah, um, the podcast that never was. Because and I, I already said that. Like for me, it feels like there's been three thousand years pass. Part part of that, most of that, is because we had to move. Tom also moved. Yeah. So like half of the disc only crew moved, <laughs> and that was awful. How was your move, Tom? About, I don't have nearly as many video games or furniture, so probably not nearly as bad as yours. You, mm, you want to you know how you can watch the life drain out of a human being? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you a little story. This is how you can, you can watch the lifeblood just drip out of someone's, uh, someone's soul. When you hire movers and they arrive at your new place with the truck loaded up with furniture. And they are like, man, there are so many shelves. And they bring the first shelf to the door, and they're like, where does this go? And you go, upstairs. All of them go upstairs. <laughs> Every oh piece God. of heavy furniture goes, goes upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen the life drain out of a human being faster than that moment. The face was just like, oh, no. And I was like, yeah. Okay, so we got all the shelves upstairs and the couch and the TV stands. All right, so these boxes stay down here, right? <laughs> we moved all of the games ourselves, thankfully. Okay, yeah. 
But then they, you know, they brought like the the washer and the dryer, and they're like, "Please tell us that the laundry is on the first floor." And I was like, "It's on the second floor." And they're like, "Oh my god!" I was, like, <laughs> I was like, "This is why we hired you because if, if I." Like, every one of us in Raleigh could not have lifted the washer upstairs. Like, we would have all died. So, you know, you have to you have to know your limitations. You got to get gonna, that workout in, Steven. I, I'm going to come down there for a week, and y'all are going to use up all my guest passes at, at, at my gym to, uh, to, we'll get you guys buff. Oh, I got to tell you another fun, another fun little story. So, you're f <laughs> so maybe somewhat familiar with Snavy, which is the little creature based on the Welk in Final Fantasy VI that Haley had created and we used during Extra Life. It was like my little baby. Yes, it was it was it was a, a skin for the I shouldn't have said skin. It was a skin for the uh the uh, babysitting mama baby. It was a skin for the babysitting mama like you're not incorrect. Anyway, so we've we've had that chilling in our house and um when we were moving some stuff over, Haley moved it and hid it in the new house. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like and she told me she was like Snavy's in the house and I was like what do you mean Snavy's in the house she's like Snavy's in the house and I was like well where where is Snavy and she's like Snavy finds you <laughs> I'm like I don't like that I had already I had already moved because the last place was haunted I'm not really into <laughs> was uh that is wow so I started looking around the house to try and find this thing and I eventually found it and she had placed it on the toilet of the guest bathroom. And I saw it, and I was like, that's funny. And then I just forgot about it. Oh, oh no. And then we had movers. <laughs> <laughs> so the movers had to go into the guest room to, like, put stuff into the guest room. And, like, nobody said anything, but there were definitely some real weird looks from the people that left the guest room. And I'm realizing that they just saw Snavy just chilling on the toilet. And, like, the, the lights are off in there, so, like, they just look in and they just see this creature on the toilet. Yeah. Um... <laughs> just like they, <laughs> they look in and they, ju they just hear, hold on one second. <laughs> oh, my God. So... In short, that's that's one moving company down that we can never hire again. Uh, <laughs> Give it enough time and they'll forget. Others. That's all you got to do is just wait, <laughs> wait two years and then you can hire them again. How was the hey? How was the uh, how was the move? Oh, uh, how how was the move for the uh, at the at the George's place? They had a lot of of heavy furniture that needed to be brought upstairs, and their guest bathroom had some sort of weird snail creature on it. I mean, Dan is like Fortnite. Dan is reminding you about to tell him about the Fortnite guys. Oh my God! Yeah. The, so the guys, the guys that did the moving, um, they were younger guys. They're probably in their early twenties, uh, and uh, they got in there. And when they first, when they first got in, I gotta say a huge shout out to all of my friends who helped like pack things and also like get the furniture ready because like we had the furniture like, moved and, and easy to access and, like, ready to go. The movers actually complimented that, and they were like, man, this is really well done. They're like, it is very, very, um, you know, easy to get all of this stuff. And uh, we were like, oh, well, 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 thank you. And he was like, you moved a lot of your stuff on your own because this is just furniture. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I have a bunch of boxes. I have a bunch of, um, you know, video games. And as soon as I said video games, the guy was like, "Oh man, you play Fortnite?" <laughs> and I was, and then there's two, there's two guys. So the other guy's like, "Yeah, man, you play Fortnite? We play Fortnite, yeah." And I was like, "I, I don't." I was like, "I, I play like maybe once." I play. He's I play like, "Oh down. man, Fortnite's great." She just He's like, "My house, we would have hung out together and done some trios." <laughs> He's like, "Man, it send him to Alberta." <laughs> He's like, "I know they say that it's for children." But like, it's for adults too. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, I'm. A, I was like, I got like a lot of old games. I was like, you know, like Super Nintendo. And then the guy's like, do you play Grand Theft Auto Five on the PC? And I was like, that's very unrelated to what I just said. But but yeah, I do. He's like, man, I love that because you can mod the cars. And I was like, yes, you can do that. And he's like, I don't have a PC. <laughs> 
And I was like, okay. He's like, but I want to get one so I can mod the cars. He's just very, very exuberant about uh, to, to find someone, someone he's moving. I, you know what? That, that was probably like a highlight for him where it's like, finally, finally, someone I'm moving, uh, like whose who's stuff I'm moving that has a similar interest to me. Even if like, even if video gaming is such a wide, broad subject, this guy was probably ecstatic to be, to be like, well, up until the, the moving the furniture upstairs, to just have someone to talk, to talk any sort of shop about video games with. Dude, whenever, I mean, yeah, whenever, I'm sure. Whenever people come over to the house to like work or do stuff and they find out that like, you know, I know what Twitch is and that I work on Twitch, it's always like they're, they just have a new life, like light up in their, in their face. I'm just so happy because I, you know, I love talking shop. But it's like, I say, like, they ask me what I do, and they're like, hey, I'm a, I'm a Twitch caster. And they're just like, no way. You know, like, they like actually <laughs> freak out about it. Because, like, a lot of the people in this area, um, I mean, there's a lot of gamers that work at different places here for, for some weird reason in, in my hometown. But uh, it's just, it's so cool being able to, like, just whenever, whenever like, uh, my online stuff and my real life, like, collide, it's always kind of, like, surreal like like even even have like having like uh Jacob down here uh to hang out it's like man Jacob's in my house like this is strange i only really talk to him online you know but um but it's always a fun time whenever somebody figures out that like you know i do like youtube and things like that the uh the guy who came to uh set up my internet when uh when i first went to greet him like there was there was a little bit of like there, there was a little bit of like hesitation at first. They like comes in and like starts like you know working on 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 the stuff, and then like we're we're talking a little bit about like setting up the internet, and then he's like, and, and then like you know get into the usual conversation about like so what do you do? And I say oh I do YouTube and Twitch, and then he kind of stops. He looks at me and he goes, "Are you Tom Fox?" <laughs> Sick, <laughs> love it. And, uh, uh, it. and it turns out that like uh, his uh, his. Uh, daughter watched uh uh like you know watched youtube videos and, and she really liked star fox so she was like so he was looking up star fox videos and one of my let's plays was on the top that's awesome see we just don't tell anybody what we do <laughs> <laughs> well i only do it if they ask you know i uh, um, well i know when they ask i just tell them something else <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's um <laughs> it's a lot, that's fair it's a lot more commonplace now uh like the the online like video creation and whatnot but back in the day you could really mess with people by saying that you make videos on the internet and like their 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 imagination would run wild i know i know i've told you all this before but uh erica's favorite thing to say to people whenever they ask what her husband does is that i'm an online male entertainer yeah that's the best because <laughs> they their eyes always go wide and they're just like what does that mean <laughs> Because you, you know what they think it means. <laughs> you, 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 good lord. Oh, I've just told people that before. Like, it <laughs> depends how quickly you want to shut down a conversation. <laughs> like, if, 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 if you're, you know, if you just want to say, oh, I do adult internet entertainment, like, you know, they won't elaborate. There's no further questions. They just go, oh, oh. all right. Good for you. And then that's I'm, it. Um, Have you guys I'm, just uh, never heard of telling people like I don't want to talk about it? <laughs> no, <Nah>. that no. <laughs> I like <Nah>. a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a, I'm a freelancer with uh, with uh, Google and Amazon. You know? Yeah. Also, but, also fair. Yeah, that is fair. Actually, I'm, I've I'm, used I've used that one before. Mostly a lot of a uh, lot of lot of lot of data entry. You know, a lot of lot of data transferring. I say that I'm a performer, like I'm a I'm a drummer, and they're like, "Oh, you're in a band." I'm like, "No, I play online." And they're just like, "Oh, they're either there." There's two. There's two responses. It's either, "Oh," or "Oh." What do you mean by that? You know, it's like it's either 100 percent they don't care because it's just like, "Oh, you're not in a band," or it's like exceedingly intriguing. It's like, "How do you play on the internet?" And then I pull up a YouTube video, and they're like, "Okay, this is sick." You know. <laughs> <laughs> be quiet cole <laughs> <laughs> what a cult. man i love editing for my favorite male entertainer <laughs> like i tagged you in it too so you'd see it oh no he knows man he knows <laughs> oh uh john by the way have y'all have you told uh these two what you did for freaking uh april fool's day <laughs> no no i did not 
All right. So uh, I had a stream day. It was April Fool's Day for me. So I decided to ask Erica, who had played me in Werewolf at Coliseum, to do an intro for the stream for me. So she went and got a blonde wig, because apparently I'm blonde, uh, <laughs> and filmed like, what was it, like a six minute video mm -hmm. of just pretending to run the stream. And uh, it was actually pretty funny to just run that a couple times on stream. The, uh, she she was brilliant because like she was just like, can you pull up a video of Superman 64? <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can act like I'm playing it. She did like the art block and everything, dude. She's freaking, it was so funny. Oh man. I, I, still have the, I have the folder of the pictures that she drew on my, on my desktop too. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> they were just two ovals and it's like, here's Rosa John. And then two <laughs> ovals with stripes. Here's Rosa John for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My <sighs> God. I forgot about that, uh, that werewolf round. Which is funny because because <laughs> because Jack's impression of me was spot on. It really, oh my god, it yeah. was like you were that, really there, just like Yu Gi Oh. That that werewolf round was one of the most fun things I had experienced, like at the at that at the uh, the event at, at that the point. Convention. Yeah, not, the convention, the TRG convention. Not god, only was, oh, imagine, dude. Oh my god, that'd be a lot of work. <laughs> Not only was Gerard's impression of you incredible, your reaction to it was was mm, chef's oh, kiss. Oh my god, dude, Gerard. Let me talk about <laughs> him for a second. He, all right, he is awesome, first of all. And while, while I do disagree that I, I, uh, I show my stream out as much as he did, he got something perfect, and that was my freaking fidgeting foot. Like, the tapping foot that I, I always do it. Because, like, Erica, like... I, uh, so Erica was standing there and I'm like, oh my God, because I look down and I'm doing the same exact freaking thing with my foot, <laughs> almost in the same rhythm. And I'm like, Erica, look at, look at what he's doing with his foot. Look at him fidgeting. And she's like, I didn't even notice that he was fidgeting because I'm so used to you doing it. <laughs> Well, so like, 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 Gerard also has done, like knows how to drum. So like, that's, that's why yeah. it's so perfect. No, it was like there was nobody else that I would have rather have had do a freaking impression of me than freaking Gerard, dude. I love I love when he got your schedule wrong and you were you corrected him on it. Yeah, I was like off screen. I'm like, no, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. But no, the the thing that set me into orbit was him tapping his foot because I looked down and I'm doing the same exact thing, and I'm like, God dang it, dude. <laughs> I tell you what, playing Tim is hard, like. Tim Tim is hard to do an impression of mm. because like I tried I really tried to do it just playing on the switch just I I really did try did you uh, I, you, 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 to, you try to do the, the the pog face that's the real yeah, thing there you go the, his, <laughs> yeah. his, 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 his photobomb face that is true yeah and, I, oh, I, I did... alrighty then <laughs> yeah, I, I did the I got the pog face and I was like, oh crap, whenever I died. But that was that was like, God, what else can I do? <laughs> you know? I thought Massey was gonna strangle Dan. Uh-huh. Me too. That was fantastic. Me three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it was perfect though. Like just that that whole that whole segment. And then um I can't remember and Jules got Jack. So he had to act like Jack, which is perfect to spray. <laughs> and Jack is just cringing the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just like that one movie in like 1984. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, God, that was I fun. do. I do reference a lot of things. Dude, MC getting jewels and just going, ha, lewd comment. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been a sto like a like a, a a step too far when I tried to undo Jules's belt with my mouth. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I, I was like, "Oh, that's a call." That's why I pulled down Absolutely. the shirt immediately when you did that. Well, that was a raspberry. Well, no, that was yeah, what you you, uh, you pulled down the shirt when I blew the raspberry on him. That's a call. I love that. Absolutely uh, disagree. If anything, um, I <laughs> feel like more of that segment should have involved more teeth on clothing. 
And no. it's, it's really, <laughs> no. it's really a shame Absolutely that we not. missed that opportunity. But John, I've got good news. There will be another disc only uh, for Coliseum in the future. And uh, I've got some really great incentives lined up. <laughs> do, do not, do not tell Jules about that idea. You it's know gonna, it's gonna it. get to him. Uh, uh, yeah, accurate. <laughs> tell tell Jules to keep his teeth away from clothing. <laughs> tell Tom to keep teeth away from clothing. Accurate. That's who you got to be afraid of. Oh man, I've been playing um, uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusion. It is hysterical. <laughs> Dude, I I've actually been using the um the sprites from that as uh like drawing um reference. That's been it's super great. fun. I oh, love it's, the fusion. It's, it's so good cuz like cuz people can like uh I think oh, I for, for a second I saw I thought something on my end just crashed. Um <laughs> no, it's it's incredible cuz like there's also a bunch of artists that made like uh custom sprites. Yeah. And one of the sprite artists for the game watched my vods of it and created a bunch of sprites the pokemon i used oh cool it was just like what, there's one in particular is the, okay this one's on its own i'll send i'll send this one <laughs> <laughs> it was uh it was a combination between vulpix and vigoroth <laughs> <laughs> oh that's perfect i'm glad that the that the artist did not draw smoopod but no, this is uh, one of the ones I had. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I, I named it Larg Slump. Perfect, dude. <laughs> oh, man. That 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 website that you can just go and uh, look at all the sprites for it is really, really fun. That was uh, at Thorns of Light on Twitter. Kathy, Kathy Jepsen. Who, uh, who drew that? That's fantastic. It's incredible. Oh man, but yeah, no, that's a really good. Um, that's a that's a really good. It's basically just a a Gen One remake, but with the the Fusion mod in it too, and it it changes up the whole game. I'm gonna have to give the game a try. I have not had a chance to yet. Mustang Bounce is a sprite artist for the game. Hell yeah, hmm. large yeah, stuff. Yep. I've only been using the uh, the generator website, mm -hmm. which which it's really funny because like some of them are just like two sprites mashed together and they make some really cursed looking stuff yeah. but then some of the other ones are actually like sprites that were made and that's just super cool some of the some of the ones that are just like shoved together somehow look really good it's like and you're like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> quagsire, there's, a, there's a quagsire voltorb on there apparently voltorb is one of the uh the most i think it's the only pokemon that has a complete library of uh of pokemon uh, I am not want to make round runs. versions of everyone, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Round boys. I got right. one that was in, in the most recent version of what I played. That was a combination between um, Natu and Whalmer, and it's just a bigger Natu. <laughs> <laughs> there have been some really good ones. One of my favorite ones as well was uh, Squirtle and Azuril, because it's just a Squirtle. It's a Squirtle without arms and a very sad face. Yeah, round. I, I named him Round Roumd R O U M D. And there was Sag Boy. There, there's so much potential with that. Uh, with that game, it is phenomenal. You know that Zelda comes out soon. Mm-hmm. God, huh. so many other oh. games though. <laughs> I want to do a. Advance do a Wars just control. came out. Advance Wars looks and sounds amazing. I've played like a couple songs from it. Freaking um, Andy's theme is banging. Um, oh, I can't remember the uh, the final the final guy that you fight um, into. Stur oh yeah, dude, Strom's theme is so good. They redid it so well. And I got to play a little bit of Advance Wars. Um on launch and it is fun it's like everything i loved when i was 12 but i uh again <laughs> i had to i had to, <laughs> I had to cancel my order for it i just never redid it because uh because i moved and the uh the order it was an amazon order on a like a multi-package order 
So I couldn't just out and change the address of it after the other stuff had been delivered. So I just canceled it now. And I just haven't gone through and ordered the game again yet. So I haven't got a chance to play it. Mm. It is Advance Wars. It is straight up Advance Wars. Mm -hmm. But like, it's got like it, it way forward did their like weird, like here's like half voice acting. So half the lines mm. are voiced or like part of the lines are voiced. And then, of course, it's people I know or have heard the voice of before. So I'm like, okay, why is why is Eagle Raptor Max? Or why is Shantae uh, Nell? Or why is why is Ash from Pokemon Andy? Wait, really? Wait, Veronica, Veronica Taylor is Andy? Taylor. Veronica Taylor. Oh, no Andy. way! Straight I just up. Know that. Yeah, it it the voice is like the same. <laughs> Dude, okay, now I gotta play it. Holy frick, that's awesome. He finally grew up just a little bit, and then he went to war. <laughs> and then he God. never learned what an airport was. I think, uh, <laughs> think Sung Cho is also in that game, too. I believe so. I don't remember who he plays. Uh, Flack is what Dio says in chat. Oh. Or Dior. <laughs> yep, Pro ZD. Eagle and Flack. According to random player eight one eight. Oh, he's also eagle. Oh, okay. Yep. Man, I gotta get my uh, I gotta get my closet set up for for a voiceover because I want to start doing that again. I haven't done voiceover since I did uh, the stuff for Scott Falco. Um, the totally legit Pokemon Gold speed run, the totally legit Majora's Mask speed run. Yeah, I've really been enjoying his content recently. Yeah, he's really he's good. His like his uh his side assaults and yeah, um, he, he's done. I love the uh the edited down streams he has of like modded Smash Bros, where like he modded um, uh like just a bunch of different things. My favorite though was the uh, is Sephiroth over Donkey Kong, for the one <laughs> one winged Kong. Oh my god! <laughs> I just watched his Mega Man Battle Network uh with a side assault, oh, yeah, and that yeah. that's just like oh frick yeah, let's go that game. Oh god, that game! That whole I'm so glad that it's been re-released, but I have n I do not have the time to even get started with that game because I will want to 100% them, and it will take me months. <laughs> have have y'all ever played through um, Mega Man Battle Network oh, one through yeah. six? Yeah, like one one is all right, two is okay, three is freaking fantastic. Uh, but I I just I can't bring myself to fight duo at the end of that at the end of four again. Duo's such a hard <laughs> fight. Oh, hey, uh, for all they could have done some like quality of life changes as well. Because like, uh, what is it? One of my editors um does reviews of like ports when like when like a remaster or something comes out. Mm. So like he's done it for like all the Final Fantasy games and like and he's doing one for Mega Man uh, Battle Network. I think he, yeah, Austin SV, um, and he's uh, he's he's working on one for the new Battle Network one. So we'll see. So if you're on the fence about it, you can see what uh what what's changing it. Maybe like some quality of life stuff. You can yeah. do net play online. Yeah. Oh my god, yes! Like that that is the reason why I want to get that game is to actually play online with people. And uh, I, I heard that there's like a Buster Max mode where it makes it like do a hundred damage. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, uh, it's basically it's if you want to just enjoy the story, you just turn it on and it uh, it puts a hundred times multiplier on your current Buster damage. Oh, so it can go up to like five hundred? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Does sick. affect charge shots, but like regular shots, just you you melt through enemies. We uh, so I did a sponsored segment for uh, for Capcom for that mm. a couple weeks ago, and then they were just like, "Yeah, part ways through, just turn that on and just make progress." It was great. Wow. Okay. Cool. Steve, who's your favorite Mega Man character? Uh. Lego. He, there, Chad, he's awake. Lego Mega Man. <laughs> Lego oh, Mega uh, Man. You, like, you like the serve bots, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, I associate it with Dead Rising. Oh, yeah. Bear. Yeah. Very fair. Oh, yeah. Bear's something I could go for in New Dead Rising. Mm. I never played I never played any of the Mega Man games. Like, I, I've... Like, any? I've played a little bit of Mega Man X, and I've played, like, a little bit of maybe Mega Man 1 or 2, and, like, that's about it. So, They're like the the first like the the first like seven maybe eight Mega Man games are very much in like that style of bang your head against the wall until you learn the patterns. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that was just that was just video games at the time. Yeah, I have I've beaten every Mega Man every mainline Mega Man game. Um, whenever me and Erica were long distance, we used uh, SharePlay from uh on PS4, and I went through the entire Mega Man 
collection oh, just yeah. over nice. over the internet. So she got to watch me freaking scream at those games, dude. I've beaten Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2, and that was the uh, Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, and Mega Man X. Those are the me three Mega Man games that I've played. I've only uh, beaten Mega Man oh, X. Oh, and 9. I've beaten 9 as well. I haven't beaten uh, X7. Uh, I played X7 mission. for three minutes. <laughs> oh, God. Why would you even do it for that long? <laughs> yeah. X7, Command Mission, uh, Battle Network Transmission, Battle Network 3 through 6. Uh, I didn't finish any of the Star Force games and Legends 2. I think those are like the only Mega Man games that I can think of. Did you um, play Ma a network transmission at all? Yes. So it, it is okay. bad. <laughs> it, it, is it is bad, bad. but let me, let, let me tell you what. The music in that game is phenomenal. The music is like, good for what I remember. And if you can get like yeah. the, the broken combination, apparently it's like an absolute joke. Yep. But man, I just remember that first boss fight just sucks oh, to do. It's just terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it, it, I think um, the like I was able to get through a little bit of it, but Starman was my my wall. And once I beat Starman, the rest of the game was just simple because I figured it out. <laughs> Once I beat Starman, I gave up. Yeah, yeah I just quit. <laughs> I'm like, frick this. I got around my wall. I'm done. Yeah, Fireman sucks, but God, his freaking theme, like Burning Internet is one of my favorite video game songs of all time. It's just so good. I'll have to take a listen. Because I trust your taste in music, Jared. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Go listen to Pizza Tower. Trust me. <laughs> I've listened to Pizza Tower. Uh, What is it? Uh, the, the talk about Mega Man got me thinking. There's a um, there's a a, a barcade here in Austin uh, called uh, called Cidercade. It's like right in the river, just south of downtown. Um, ten dollar cover to get in. All the all the uh, the the games are free. It's great to go on like a like a if if you can swing it. It's great to go on a weekday afternoon because nobody's there. Um, mm. but it's it was it was great because I was able to because like me and a friend were able to just like go in there and play like uh. The uh, uh, the reason I was thinking of Mega Man was there was the, there's like a Mega Man arcade game that they have in there, and without having to constantly feed it quarters, we were able to just like keep continuing and beat the game that way. <laughs> oh, probably Power Fighters, right? Yes, yeah, so it was Power Fighters. Okay, Man, Power I, something rather. Yeah, that Power I have played. Battles. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was one of the two though. Cider Kate, Cider Kate is awesome. If you if any of you guys ever come to Austin, I'm taking you there. You don't I have mean, a choice. Their, their, their pizza is really good, too. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. <laughs> I'm sending you a ticket in your email right now. A town car is coming to pick you up. Get <laughs> your Uber has arrived. Get in. <laughs> the agents have arrived to take you to Texas <laughs> to go to Cider Cage. <laughs> I got they've two placed, days off coming up. I'm good. They've placed the bag over your head. They've shoved you into the car. Where are we going? We're going to have fun. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what that, that looks like. Quagsire and Venusaur combination. Hey, that's what I thought was Venusaur. Yeah. Oh, that, what that is what that what, is what's, what's currently on the screen right now. What the... they do to my boy? <laughs> <laughs> is it Flat Frick Friday? Like, <laughs> what's yeah. going on? <laughs> I'd like to see if there's a combination between uh, like Loudred and Quagsire. That's it's just Quagsire screaming. Oh my god! <laughs> Can they make him any louder? <laughs> <laughs> Someone in chat says, "I swear it looks like something out of Earthbound." It does. It looks like the other uh, crocodile enemies from the swamp. <laughs> do -ba -do -ba -do -do. <laughs> do <-ba> -do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's Thin Frick <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Skinny shit Saturday. <laughs> Why, boy, Wednesday? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I have this thing. I mentioned it on Twitter several times, but... Animals that have the potential to kill you are cute. That's that's my take, and I'm sticking to it. You ever see a crocodile? They're cute. Alligator? Cute. Bear? Cute. Snake. Love them. What is a bear but more dog? 
<laughs> what? Tom, what the frick? <laughs> what is a bear but more dog? Dude, you need to like that. that should Cheetahs, be like, cute. Honey wouldn't... badger, cute. I was saying, isn't that just a a wolf? Wolf, cute. More dog. Bear yeah, is hashtag, more dog than wolf. Hashtag more, more dog. A cow more is dog. more like a dog than a bear. A, a cow. <laughs> a cow. Whoa, a cow yeah, cows yeah. are actually pretty docile, and they're like they're actually like they're buddies and they're good friends. Like dog. A bear is more dog. If I ever had the if I listen. I would be friends with a bear in a heartbeat. <laughs> like if if I had the ability to be friends with one deadly animal, I'd choose a bear. Have you have you uh, have you watched freaking Puss in Boots, the new movie, the last? No, movie? I haven't seen I haven't seen it yet. I've, like, heard, I've heard great things about it. Oh god, it's phenomenal. Um, but the the bear family is really funny in that, and that just reminded me of that. Ah, uh, yeah. Please watch that movie. It's it's freaking awesome. Is it on streaming services yet? I don't think it's in theaters anymore. Yes, uh, I can't remember where though, because I know we watched it at the house. Uh, yeah, I've been a uh, uh, makes a good point. I was in a D and D campaign with a guy who was playing as a bear. <laughs> I have a bear. Well, that is a that is a dog. <laughs> someone sent me this. Uh, someone sent me this TikTok of. Um, like the, it's the it's a it's a it, it's a stitch. So like it starts off with like this woman like talking about her dog. It's like this really like fluffy like kind of short eared dog, and it switches over to this one guy saying, "That is not a dog. That is a fucking bear." <laughs> Peacock TV row eight Prime Video Redbox or Voodoo? I think we saw it on Prime. We ended up like like renting it or whatever. Ah. Twas twas good. Twas worth the watch. Oh, speaking speaking of worth the watch, uh, Mario movie. Have y'all seen it? No, oh, I'm go I'm gonna go see it on Thursday. Hell it is, yeah! It is wonderful. I recommend it. I saw that Mario movie. We we like, bought tickets for it. We had planned a, a date night and everything, and then Bagel got sick, and we had to run to the vet. That was unfortunate. Yeah, that's fair. And the theater didn't the do refunds, so we were just like, okay, oh, well, fuck man, it. man, man, I got we're... something that's more important than Mario movie. What was and that? And it is the it is the the place in which I witnessed the Mario movie. I what? went to I went to an <laughs> Alamo draft oh, house. Yes, nice. yeah. Ooh, I went to an Alamo draft house, and it changed my life. What did you? What food did you order, dude? I don't remember. <laughs> He blacked out. <laughs> it's isn't it, it? It's like the best movie experience. It is the best movie experience. It, I've like, never been. Man, okay, let me tell you a little story. Let me tell you a little story. Go we, for it. I was, I was the one that was like, "Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do because uh, I, I think originally Dan actually wanted to see. Dan was the one that's like, "Oh, we gotta go see the movie." And I was like, "Okay, well, I've, I, I've wanted to, to witness an Alamo Draft House. It's playing at the Alamo Draft House. Let's do that." And everyone's like, "Cool." So I bought the tickets. So I bought seven tickets, and uh, we, you know, uh, we're, we're getting ready to go. And then, like, I think it's like a day before uh, Dan finds out he can't go. And I was like, don't worry about it. It's, it's no problem. The day of, I called the the place, and I was like, hey, we, we is it possible to, like, refund one of the tickets because someone in our party can't go? And they said, yeah. And I was like, that's, yep. a, that's amazing. And that's a policy. Like as long as it's, I think, a more like more than an hour before showtime, you can just call and be like, "Can you just remove this?" And they're like, "Yeah." And I was <laughs> like, "That's amazing." And then we got there, and like the 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 whole experience was super super cool because they have all the policies about like shut up. Yep, shut up. Don't don't, don't be on your phone. Don't pull out your phone. We'll, you'll we'll get you'll get one warning, and then after that, you're kicked out. That's and awesome. You, you can order food. And it's great. The food, yep. the food is good. I don't know. What did I order? I, I love the pizza. <laughs> was it a pizza? Oh, I, had, was it... I had a sandwich. It had an egg on it. I remember because okay. I, I have a thing. If I open up a menu and it says egg, I'm like, oh, just get that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they have really good milkshakes, too. I think it's a disease. Anyway, uh, it was good. Uh, mouse food was good. Um, everyone was super happy. And also, the, the, the 30 minutes before the film starts, they show... Material that is relevant to yep. 
the movie. So yes. we got there early, and they just showed like 30 minutes of like Japanese Mario commercials. Oh, cool. Yeah. It was it, really cool. They do, they do that with every movie if it, if it's like if it's relevant at all. I went to uh, I went to see uh, your name and and before that it was just like all like Studio Ghibli stuff. Sick. Um, oh, let me see. There, were, I went when I went to see God. Who was the lead actor in in the new Blade Runner? Ryan Reynolds, or not Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Okay, so uh, we went. I went to go see that with a bunch of friends. And like it was showing off like a bunch of like uh, stuff from like you know the previous Blade Runner and like kind of like a like a up to speed kind of thing if you ever saw the original. Um, and then one thing they showed was the um, vines that somebody made of Ryan Gosling refusing to eat his cereal. Oh yeah, that crap was funny. Yeah, that was uh so the uh, and like you know that was, that was really good. and they ended it off with uh with because the uh, the guy who made those vines uh passed away, and um in response Ryan Gosling made a vine of himself eating cereal. Oh, so they showed that at the end of that. The the best um preview or the best thing like before a movie that I've ever seen was in a uh, Universal Cinemark like uh, the big one that they have at City Walk, and. Before I even knew what Valve was, before I even played Portal, they um, they had a uh, video for the Meet the Heavy short, and I was like, "Oh my god, I need to play this game!" Like I had I had no idea what Team Fortress Two was, and um, that that ad got me to buy the orange box back when the orange box was a thing, yep. and it was one of the best purchases I think I ever made, and it was because of that freaking movie theater. That was the only way to play Portal at the time was through the orange box. Yep. Mm -hmm. I play. Oh man, I played the freak out of Portal, dude. I enjoyed that so much. But I, I, I have the uh, I have that movie theater to thank for that. I've been on a huge uh, TF2 kick lately. Like I've been watching like a, a bunch of YouTubers and like trying to find like community servers that aren't infested with bots because that's become a huge problem in pubs lately. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 been great. It's it's like I went back to, you know, a simpler time when I played TF2 every day. I lost an entire summer to Team Fortress 2. <laughs> I think I did that with Overwatch 1 whenever that first came out. Like, man, I was I was sucked into that game. <laughs> I got I Orange that. Box on 360, so it was uh, not as occupied at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was also I also had uh, an Overwatch phase. It was during a TRG trip. It, I can't remember which episode it is, but if you listen into the background of one of the Super, Super Metroid, Metroid episodes, <laughs> yeah, you could hear you could hear me yelling at one of my friends about about Overwatch. <laughs> I think that was, that was like when it was still in beta. Yeah, the the, the beta was that weekend, and uh, we had finished. I, I don't know if we had finished Rayman Legends or uh, or if we were um, in the middle of playing it. and You guys wanted to record Super Metroid at the time, I'm just as a little bit of a power. Sure, we had cleanser. finished it and you were just hanging out for an extra day or two or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because those are before uh, those were before Momocon. Yeah, dude, Momocon's like so close. I'm so excited. I'll see you there. Oh, frick yeah, let's go! Yep, TRG oh. is doing OdaFest and Momocon, so we're doing two cons back-to-back, -back, saying, like, Sick, yeah, one week dude. apart. Frick yeah, we're, we are definitely going to be there. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, First, we got to go to a Tenacious D concert, and I really hope that he sings uh, <laughs> a song. <Peaches>. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's allowed to. I don't think he's going to be able to. <laughs> Honestly. We'll see though. I'm, I'm, man. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, dude. I wish that I was able to get like really nice uh, VIP tickets for that, like to, uh, like you know, you know, like a backstage pass or whatever. But the tickets that they were selling were like three grand to do that, and I'm like, man, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. I want to meet Jack Black one day, man. That's on my bucket list. Mm -hmm. He seems like he'd be a really cool guy to hang out with. Accurate. And then he pulls out the weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the that was like the whole thing with the pick of destiny, right? <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. Because uh, in, in order to gain uh, at the end of the movie, they lose the pick, but they gain they gain the, the bar of destiny. Yep, the horn. Oh my! In God. order to gain inspiration for for writing music. 
That would be so funny. <laughs> Someone in chat said that he pulls out the raisins. A uh, good clone eye reference. Like the one bit where he's talking about like all the in the in Clone High where he's talking about like all the uh, all the different drugs he did, and it's all it's all just different names for weed. And at the end of it, he goes, "I even smoked pot once," <laughs> <laughs> and everyone gasps. Did oh, you so uh, did you see the new episode of Clone High? I haven't seen it yet. No, there's is that like on a, HBO there's Max? A, there's a leak of it that was out months ago. Like, oh, not okay. not all the effects were in yet, so like it look it's a little janky, but it's interesting. I'll take a look at it when it's out officially. But yeah, the the uh, the official season is not out yet, from what I remember. They did a teaser trailer for it. Yep. It's uh, it, it's it's interesting because like it's not even really a reboot; it's just a continuation of the previous series. Yep. I think I've seen like maybe like one or two clips. What's the streaming on? I think it's HBO Max. Yes. But it's not out yet. Have they even said when it's coming out? Clone High. Kind of like a Samurai Jack did it. May 23rd. Mm. It's set to premiere internationally on HBO Max sometime in May 23rd, 2023. According to the fandom wiki. I don't know if you want to trust that. <laughs> sometime in May 23rd. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it literally <laughs> says that exact same way. <laughs> sometime in may 23 2023 so midnight strikes it's like is it out yet no is it out yet no is it out yet no pretty much all right should we start wrapping up i believe so mm -hmm. let's do a wrap all right uh i forget the order i usually do things so let's kick it off with the talking points then for the episode Opening script. God. <laughs> God, the script. Uh, God, the landlord. Not a new feature. Evil for charity. He scream. Desktops. Favorite power person. Snabby surprise. You play fork knife? No further questions. Gerard is Jared. Buff Vulpix. Capcom Lego Man. <laughs> Fat Dogs. Best movie experience. Hey, Peaches. Peaches. Tom, what, what you got going on, Tom? I changed up a lot of my format recently, so uh, a lot of my YouTube content now is going to be uh, edited downstream VODs. You can still see the full stream VODs at an alternate channel called Tom Fox Live. Um, still doing Let's Plays, though. Uh, in terms of what I got coming up, uh, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Infinite Fusion, so I'm doing that on Friday. And the next week is just going to be full of Sam and Max and Zelda, where on the following Tuesday, I'm going to be doing uh, Breath of the Wild with crowd control as a prep for Tears of the Kingdom. And then the rest of the week is just going to be Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I'm also giving away a bundle uh, of, like, Switch like Tears of the Kingdom Switch stuff. So I've got one of the uh, the Tears of the Kingdom Switch systems, uh, the Tears of the Kingdom Switch case, and a copy of the game. Um, Head on over to my twiddle, uh, my Twitter. You can see it there. Uh, I believe it's the pinned tweet. And uh, yeah, enter and potentially win. That's all Me. I got. Uh, so, mm, I moved. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I moved and it was hell. Um, things are getting slightly back to normal. Um, so you know, the vlogs will happen. There will be a Patreon video soon. Uh, one of the things that happened in April, uh, that was a really big deal is Mal started streaming. Um, so you can follow her at twitch.tv slash malmix and uh, she'll be doing another stream on Thursday evening. She's been doing some cooking streams so she's excited to to do that so make sure you're following her. Uh, as for me, we're going to be doing uh, Zelda uh, on release day and then every Friday until uh, we die. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, at least he's um, honest. <laughs> I mean, la last last time um, when the you know, when, <laughs> when 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 the credits start rolling, Stephen, I want you to play a, a funeral dirge. <laughs> just have someone walk out off frame and just start playing taps. Um, or have somebody walk into frame dressed as the Grim frame, Reaper. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, um, we'll... <laughs> uh, we're, we're looking forward to the game. And, um, you know, it, it, it did take us like a year to beat Breath of the Wild. We play, the, we, we play uh, at a slow pace. <laughs> Every Friday minutes. night, and that's it. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, drum streams Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, no, you know the normal thing. Um, going to MomoCon at the end of this month. Looking forward to that. And uh, just something uh, personal. I'm not really sharing this anywhere online, like the work or whatever. I'm actually doing a 100-day uh, drawing challenge where um, I'm drawing for at least five minutes a day, and uh, I. Uh, what, what is it called? Like I, I, um, I say, come and join me if y'all would like to, uh, you know, uh, do that. Cause I've, I think I'm on day 52 right now and I've not done anything other than, <laughs> you know, live for 52 days in a row. Uh, and I'm really, really proud of it. I'm just, uh, I'm really happy that I was actually able to keep up with that. So I'm trying to make it to a hundred. Hopefully during the next podcast, uh, I'll be at like day 82 if I'm doing my math correctly. And, um, yeah, join along if y'all, if y'all want to do that, like, just five minutes a day, man. If I if I can do that, uh, if I can do it, y'all can do it. <laughs> but uh, that's basically it. Um, just drumming and drawing for me. That's basically it. Uh, I am technically getting ready for a break because I got a couple days left here. Tomorrow I'm doing uh, Gotham Knights co-op with my buddy G. And then Saturday's Fortune Cookie. Monday's probably also Fortune Cookie, or it might be Xenoblade. I think it was actually meant to be Fortune Cookie. And then I think that's it for me because Tim and Emil are coming up here to guest at Oda Fest, uh, which is a convention here in Calgary. So they're going to be up here for a week and a half. We're going to record some TRG videos. I might try to sneak a stream or two with them in here. No guarantees, though. Right. I'm on Jiggy Stream this Friday playing Mario Party. I forgot about that, too. So I'm going to be there as well. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be big, a week and a half of like no streams for me or like one or two scattered ones. Then we guessed at Oda Fest from the weekend of, I believe the 19th to the 21st. That is correct. Uh, then they go home on the 22nd. Then I go there on the 24th. Uh, and we guessed at Momocon in Atlanta. And that'll be from the 25th to the 28th. So, uh, if you're in either Calgary or Atlanta or nearby, uh, go to either con to see us there. And then Tom and I are in a charity event at the last week of May, which I'm not oh, even sure. Yeah. We can talk. I don't know if we can talk about that yet. I forget. I don't know if you want to sit on that for the time being. I don't know. Yeah. I, st I still have to fill out the form. Oops. You might want to do that. Dan, what about you? Um, well, uh, there's, there's, there's only really uh, a couple things. Um, one, uh, you know, Twitch motion, Dan, whatever. Um, but two, um, for TRG, the um, Donkey Kong Country Returns is actually going to be finishing up here pretty quickly-ish. Uh, next Saturday should be the last episode. So if you've been waiting to marathon it, you can probably start. Yeah, because I think today's um, episode that went up was the start of World 8. So there's not much yeah. game left. The title has something about a volcano in it. Yeah, because that World 8's a volcano. Yeah, um, and um, uh, I I guess also uh, disc only. Um, if you have um, if you haven't rated us, uh, I know it's been like a bazillion years since we even mentioned it. Uh, but thank you to the I I can't believe this is a, a number, but 582 of y'all at least on iTunes have rated it. Yeah. So thank you. Hmm. Um. You know, and maybe also tell a friend about like, this. Like, weird... comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to do that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I guess that's it. All right, then uh, let's call it, shall we?
Mm-hmm. Special thank you to Popsky for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and of course, Dan for being our producer. The next disc only, provided we are back on our normal schedule, would be the 6th of June. And I pause for a second, because for some reason I thought I wasn't available on that date, but I do believe I am home for that. But yeah, it, either way, we should be back to the first Tuesday of the month now, after our our skipping of the majority of April. All right, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Okay, so... And then we don't talk for yeah. this, this portion. Right? Yeah. Oh, no <laughs> The audience is now deaf. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had it was really hard to resist not just mashing the mute button on and off during that. Not everybody. Are we off yet? Uh...